Good morning. Hello. Oh, my things are doing weird things today. My mic was like doing this weird delay, wasn't showing me it was working thing, but hello. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, I know she's already gone for a lurk, but happy birthday, Empress. We'll redeem the heck out of it later. I put the happy birthday redeem back up so we could have it for when it is forbidden fondant, yes. Um, for when it is someone's birthday and we can wish them a happy birthday. And unfortunately, I could not get it to work quite right. It is not totally full screen. But we have something until I can get it working better. So that's, that's something, at least. <laughs> Empress might be able to get the, see the text. She's just uh, in meetings, she said, so already. It's apparently that kind of day for her at work. Oh, I'm losing my tools. They are falling. Good morning, agent. Hello, friend. You are here. You are here. Happy birthday. Do, 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 do. Come on, button. Come on, button. I don't know why I, could, I couldn't get it to go full screen. It only goes in the middle. But at least I didn't have to use green screen for it. <laughs> so we officially have a... Everybody, has, everybody can sing everybody happy birthday birthday music. tools like falling behind here. Okay. So apparently something is sticking in. Oh, I think I figured it out. Okay. I've got stuff that's making my one organizer be weird. There's stuff here sticking out. I'm sorry. And I'm just fixing it because it's literally making me lose my tools. organizer was being all cranky and making things fall. All right. But now we are better. Popularity didn't bleed too much. If you were there for the kazoo and singing. <laughs> but the kazoo and singing is a good time. All right. Let's get organized again. We are organized again. Happy exact birthday. <laughs> Wait, I missed kazoo. <laughs> Ooh, happy moment of birth. <laughs> Wait, did I miss the exact time announcement? <laughs> well, we did get an exact time announcement. Hurry. Ooh, sorry. I'm sorry I missed the exact moment while I was tidying up. Give me one second. I need to blow my nose.
Yes, organized. I don't work if I'm... I don't function very well if I'm not organized. I, uh... Like I said, I have the kind of ADHD where I overcompensated with very OCD-like um, symptoms. <laughs> Those were just my coping skills. So, um, I don't function well if I'm not organized. So I force my... I have to force myself to organize because otherwise I just fall apart. And just falling apart was never okay in my world. So, there we are. <laughs> I slowly, slowly am keeping my world more organized. With the exception of, like, the kid stuff. There's no way I can keep that organized. I try and I try and I try, but it, it lasts all of three seconds. And it's only me maintaining it, so I've given up trying. <laughs> Agent read his chatbot recap and started laughing hysterically because I said I have a comment about that. <laughs> we kazooed the lumberjack song. Oh, that would have been hilarious. I wish I could get out to more evening and weekend streams, but by the time I'm done... Like, being a parent at, like, 8.30 to 9 o'clock at night, I'm just like, no, I'm done. Good night. I'm just gonna chill and turn off my brain. His chatbot said, I love dancing in the rain. Um, yes, Maggie, no, may I guess. I would imagine Maggie not so much, right? Alright, so, I did not get the soot sprites edited, um, from yesterday's stream. So they're not stickers just yet. However, uh, I'll get there, I guess, is the however. I don't really know what my whoever was supposed to be. So the last ones that we did, the, the six or seven that we did yesterday or Monday on stream, I don't have edited as stickers, but we do still have all the ones that I did on the weekend. Agent laughed because he already knew there was going to be a variant of that comment before he even made it. Yep, absolutely. It is a weird, weird weather day here today. Um, so we're having the weirdest weather. It's uh, this morning, early this morning, we had thunderstorms which immediately cleared up into sunshine and lovely weather. It's like 15 degrees and sunshiny right now. It is then going to progressively drop over the course of the next few hours and get below zero. It's going to be like, feels like negative one by the time the kids are going home from school. Hey, JC, welcome in! What did I send you? What did I send you? I sent you the... Your... Loot bag that you won on my birthday stream. With your, your charm and the stickers. We have wind here today. Yeah, it's pretty windy here today, too. Like, we have, like, all of the seasons rolled into one just about today. Yes! No, no, the loot bag, the very last one that we did the giveaway for also got one of the kitty charms. Also got one of the marshmallow charms. That was the loot bag from a birthday party. Oh! <laughs> yeah, the other two giveaways we did were just stickers. Yours got the, the last charm, and I have one for me. And I have one that's packed up and ready to go to Brenda. Yay! <laughs> Kitty charm. Yep. We made, where's, where are they? I, I stashed it up here. Okay. okay. Yeah, these are what we made on our birthday stream. On the 19th. So I've got, 
I saved one for me. L little Hunter is mad. Little Hunter wants one. I'm like, no, this is mine. This is important to me to keep with sentimental value for my birthday stream. <laughs> and then one in the loot bag, and um, I've got one packed up to go to Brenda. I've got a package ready to go for Brenda the next time I go to the post office, too, that has a, a small care package in there. So <laughs> Kiki only has 24 cities to go before they are all done with the birthday hype. Yes. Only 25 more to go, right? Um, <laughs> only 25. Okay. So the funny thing is, is the first time we ever had a ridiculous amount of hype was 24 soot sprites, and I felt like that was insurmountable. <laughs> and here we are at halfway through our last hype of, and still having 24 to go. Or 25 to go. So where would we like to start today? Does anybody have an exclamation sooty they want to do or a suggestion or one off the list they want me to do? While I'm just sitting here, we'll just keep studying the sootening. With a tennis racket. Okay. All right. If you don't sing in Dory's voice, it's wrong. Oh, the just keep swimming? Wait. Oh, just keep suiting. Oh, okay. Just keep suiting. Just keep suiting. Took me a second to put the pieces together. But I got there. <laughs> All right. Got a couple of city blanks going that we can use to roll on through. This morning at work was so brutal because I didn't bring my sunglasses because it was raining when I first left the house and I knew that there were going to be, um, like breaks in the rain. Like it wasn't going to be raining the whole time. Cause I checked like the weather uh, radar and stuff, but I didn't expect it to like totally have full on sunshine. And so like the clouds broke and it was just the brightest sun ever. And I couldn't see anything cause I forgot my sunglasses. So I had the sun beating into my face because I happened to be facing, um, that direction in the mornings. And Plus, it had been raining and the ground was still wet, so it was getting reflecting in my face. Like, I couldn't see anything. I spent my morning doing this. Trying to see the road. Um, and still being as safe as I could. It was hard. Um, I gotta get back to work. I wanted to make sure I asked and literally checked earlier today if you were streaming, but you don't have a schedule posted, so I wasn't sure it would be in. Yeah, it's always Monday, Wednesday, Fridays is pretty much my schedule. Um, I thought I had a schedule posted. Maybe I took it down. Um, yeah. 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 No problem. I'm glad to see you, Je Je blah, 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 blah. I'm glad to see you, JC. And I'm glad to see my butts, Jesse Hat. <laughs> I got sidetracked by seeing all my butts that my the name almost came out wrong. Birthday girl gets first choice. Well, there we go. With a tennis racket, huh? I, don't, I think I can do that without too much of a problem. Yeah, yeah, I think I can do that. Okay, I'm going to get out the brown because I feel like, I guess in my world, tennis mat rackets are made out of wood because the tennis racket I used to have was an old school wood one, but they're really not made out of wood anymore, are they? They're all made out of composite metals and whatnot these days. So I guess I could make it out of any color I wanted. So what color do I want to make this out of? I'm going to make it out of this orangey color. There we go. It's a semi-translucent, but it's not really going to look too much. I'm just having a lot of this color, so that's what we're going to do. Alrighty. Let's try to make a teeny tiny tennis racket, eh?
have to take a bio break. Y'all behave well in AFK. We will. We're okay. <laughs> Thank you for flicking a bit at me, Just Cat. Thank you for flicking another bit at me, Just Cat. <laughs> tink, tink, tink. Tink, tink, tink. <laughs> Behave. That's what the strange word gets. This is Jessie Cat behaving, apparently. <laughs> Not that Deb would disallow this behavior even if she was still here. <laughs> still going. <laughs> Dink. Dink. <laughs> yes, this is my normal behavior, we know. Just cutely gobbledy. <laughs> Dink. <laughs> oh, thank you very much for the hydrate. Alrighty. <coughs> I'm just trying to condition this clay. It's a little bit old, so it's taking a little bit to work it up. Yeah, I didn't end up getting the sooties finished yesterday. I decided to take a mental health day from all things internet related yesterday. Um, like I, I like doom scrolled on Facebook a wee bit, but aside from that, like I stayed away from the internet. I just needed to disconnect myself from like the work aspect of my life, the 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 side hustle as Hunter called it this yesterday when I was talking to him about this. I just needed like a break yesterday and so I, I literally I spent my afternoon um, like in between Jessie Cat you are truly chaotic good oh that is true that is very true and I love that that's the description that we used chaotic good um, yeah I took a mental health day yesterday and I just I did a puzzle and I like I just cleaned the kitchen and stuff like that like I did a whole lot of nothing yesterday and on on the topic of chaotic good we ha I have a neighbor who, like, just has, like, a bunch of garden gnomes in their garden. And one day I was, we were walking by at Hunter and I, I'm like, I, every time I walk past, all I want to do is just, like, go to the dollar store and buy up all of their gnomes and just, like, every now and again put one more in their garden. And Hunter's like, you are sometimes, like, the definition of chaotic good. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, I'm just going to put more garden gnomes in their yard for fun. <laughs> and they'll have no idea where I came from. <laughs> All right, let's make a tennis racket instead of just playing with clay. All right. So the tennis racket, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to either at least heat gun it to keep it firm, or I'm going to have to bake it and then glue it on to the soot spray one way or another, because I think that that's going to be about the only way that it really works out and uh, looks really good. So, all right. So there's the handle part, and then I'll roll out some more that I'll make the the racket part. It sounds like fun, I know, right? Like, I clearly can't afford to, like, get them a whole bunch of, like, expensive garden gnomes. I'm like, yeah, just go to the dollar store. <laughs> just get gnomes. And periodically, just plant another one in their garden. Because we really don't have very large garden spaces because we're in a townhouse. So it's not like there's a lot of space. There's like one on their porch and one in the, like, their little like six foot garden that's at the front of the house. <laughs> All right. So 
Something like that seems probably about right. Is the drop not working? It's weird. It was working. Because I made a point of making sure that it was, um, no, that's not what I wanted clicked. Yeah, no, I want that, I think. Oh wait, no, I don't want that, don't want that. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. Send Kiki dollar store notes. <laughs> We're taking notes. Okay. Alrighty. Whee! Whee! What are we stickering? Clearly I missed what? The flamingo hat. I love it. Yes. We will definitely put a flamingo hat up. Where are my stickers? Okay. Do, 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 do. Our flamingo hat. Flamingo hat. All right. Have you ever seen what my display looks like when every city is up? <laughs> that is every city. I've never shown that before. I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> there we go. Why is it back to the birthday cake? I have it set to the classic theme, and that's literally what I just copied and pasted. What is wrong with you? That's not the right thing. I did refresh the source. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing the birthday cake. I don't, I don't understand. Hold on. That's just... I don't think it was, I think it was the web page that wasn't updating properly, so that when I tried to update it, it didn't take. Alright, that, in theory, should work now. Even Nightbot. Fuck off, now. Lock. Fuck off. Welcome in, Lock, my friend. How are you today? Nobody landed there. Oh, 
We're trying to make a tennis racket. It will look more tennis rackety, rackety I promise. <laughs> Not yet, though. I mean, that looks like a bubble wand. Ooh! Ooh! We need with bubble wand! And maybe bubbles, if I can figure out a way to make bubbles. Looks pretty tennis rackety shaped, right? Okay. All right. And then I think what I'm going to do is if I like build like the mesh and then put this over top of it, I can make it look like the mesh is like behind it at least with the bubbles. Oh my gosh. How am I going to do? Like I can get like those little tiny gems that look like the little bubbles. I'll have to look on AliExpress the next time I order something from there so I have them and then I'll do that. <laughs> okay, so what I need is like the, I'm going to go with off-white so it's firmer than the white. And then we'll build like the little mesh of, of it. I know, I know. <laughs> Suggestions are welcomed, but yeah, <laughs> that part's up to the artist. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> This is a very big tennis racket compared to the city. I'm definitely going to have to use this biggest one that I've got set up here, but that's still going to be a huge tennis racket. But I don't I don't think I can make it smaller and make it work. You were stuck in a cutscene in your game. Oh no. a whole lot of rolling out clay right now. Hmm. I want it to be a little bit thinner yet. Like, the white, I definitely would not have been able to get it this thin. It would have, like, started flopping around a lot more than this is. So I'm glad I went with the off-white for this.
pretty good. Nice and thin and thin. Okay. Redeem the smallest city for biggest tennis racket. <laughs> yeah. No, we need to make them look, look at least a little bit in ratio with each other. Um, yeah. I just forgot my egg goes out of the freezer. Did I tell you I found I can eat the three cheese bagel bites? Ooh, with no tummy issues. Nice. I wish I could eat anything with cheese with no tummy issues. <laughs> I very much miss cheese. Okay. All right. So let's. Try and straighten this up. I can kind of see roughly how big I'm going with this. So I'm only going to be able to get two per thing, which is fine. It just means I'm going to need a couple of these, which means I need to move all of this over here so I can use this over here as rolling space. So I am all good and focused here on this this morning. I'm going to be a little quiet today, I think. At least right now. enough or do I need one more yet? That's enough. Okay. Oh no! Okay. Be more careful, Kiki. Be more careful. Uh, we do have a sooty with a teddy bear. It's a purple one. So we could do other colors if we wanted to, but we do have a sooty with a teddy bear.
don't think I need a fifth one, but I'm going to put a fifth one down just to make sure I'm covering my bases. Okay. I want to push, press them a little bit to get them to stick together, but I don't want to go so overboard with it. Oh, it looks so good though. All right, so I'm just gonna clean up where the edges are. Okay. Yes, um, texturing with uh, cross hatching is a really fun technique to learn. I did some of that when I was in high school. Mama had one, don't ask me why, I don't know. That's okay, fire enough. And uh, pointillism, they're both really, really cool um, techniques. I don't remember what my final piece was. I think I ended up doing pointillism as opposed to cross-hatching, but... So I'm going to clean these up, and then I'm going to pick up the tennis racket part again, um, so I can put a little liquid Sculpey down um, to give it a better chance of sticking to the mesh. Okay. Please don't stick. Yes! Okay, we're good. <laughs> Pointillism that spelled wrong. It drove me key. <laughs> put it on your towel. Yeah, you know what? I wasn't going to. And the funny thing about that was, you know, I'm like, oh, I always put my hand in it. Marshmallow totally put her tail in it. I haven't been able to get all of it off of her tail yet. Because <laughs> of course my cat did. Strobo, hello friends. How are you today? We're making a tennis racket. Just putting a little liquid Sculpey down so that our tennis racket will stick to it. You're making your own racket, are ya? You making noise, friend? Trying to get stuff crossed off my to-do list. Oh yeah. Poor Mal, right? I know. Poor cat. She'll be fine. Alright, that should be pretty good. Okay. <coughs> Woo! Alright. So, what I'm going to do... Oh, you know what? I want to put... Um like some black wrapping around, or maybe I'll do it in a different color, um, like to make it look like there's tape on it. Um, what would look good with it? Orange, I'm gonna do yellow. Yellow tape along it. Oh my God, my nose is really itchy today and Marshmallow hasn't even been here yet. That's not true, she was here before we got started, but. You know what, I'm not really feeling the yellow on this. I need it to be a darker color. Alright. Blue it is. Ooh. Did we get my meds picked up finally? Oh, nice. And they even called me and said that they'd be reshelved if we didn't pick them. Oh, that's not nice. They said, please hold them. My mom will be in today. Oh, yeah. That's unfortunate that they're like that. But I'm glad that you were able to get out and get them. 
or your mom was. And hang out while we do some research. That sounds lovely. My answer is always purple, followed by green, followed by pink, and sometimes the, those two are reversed. Fair enough. I just needed something darker than the yellow, and I think blue would probably just work easiest without um, having to think too hard about it. Okay. I'm going to just take a couple of little pieces at a time and wrap it so it looks like a little bit wrapped. Come on. I think that is pretty well good. There we go. One teeny tiny tennis racket. Uh, oh no, they were filled last Monday. It's been a week. They're totally in their rights. Well, I mean, fair enough. But I mean, clearly if people are ordering medication, they need it. They just have to get there. Life happens. Um, all right, I'm going to re relocate the soot sprite blanks to another tile so I can bake this. And that way this will be firm when it's time to put it onto the soot sprite. All right, I'm gonna preheat my oven. All right, and we have marshmallow candy today, so. There you go, enjoy marshmallow. Um, this is, of course, one of Gray's shirts. Okay, so that's going, that's going. What else do we want? I guess I should put eyes and stuff on this set sprite. That's probably a good start. Wait. Okay. Thank you for shouting out Gray's for us, friend. Oh. In a life ring. Oh, I like it. We'll work on that one too. Because we'll probably need to kind of do two at once. And I can use one of these smaller ones for that because the life ring's going to be pretty big. It's probably a good idea to have a smaller city in the middle. No, no, I love it. Right. 
my nose is really itchy and I don't know why. I'm going to assume it's because I've been blowing my nose a lot today and that's making it dry, but it's driving me bonkers. I want to do the like the traditional red and white. These guys got small eyes. They just kind of came out that way. Oh well. Not every sooty has ridiculously big eyes. Some of them are small. That is just the way sooties are. You said there was a weather change in a hurry. I know that always messes with me. Oh, it, it could be, but it's it's more itchy than anything. I mean, it might have something to do with, like, the sinuses, because I had, like, a massive sinus headache yesterday as the um, warm weather rolled in. And I'll probably have something else happen as the warm weather rolls out. But I don't know what the itchiness is from. oven is preheated. I'm going to go and put the tennis racket in there. I'm just going to put it in for a short bake because it is still going to go for another bake with the other one. And I only really need it to bake enough to be Firm, as long as I'm gentle with it, because it'll still be a little bit fragile when it's only par baked. But yeah, the temperature change in a hurry is weird because it's going from like 14 degrees this morning to like feels like negative one by the time the kids are going home. Like that's a huge drop. Yeah, it's a cute little marshmallow, aren't you, marshmallow? Marshmallow! Hi! Aw, oh, thank you for being super cute. Yeah? She's like, Mom, what do you want? Yeah? Thanks for being cute. Let's start working on the life ring. Alright, and then we've got eyes on our sooty and life ring. make two rings, one red, one white, and then I'm going to cut um, the pieces out effectively and slap them together to make one ring and then some scrap pieces. Oh my gosh, is it really already that time? It is, uh, we're five minutes away from 11sies already. We have not had a very productive stream. Oh, I have a Lego date next Friday. Not a date date. Yeah, I get it. I get it. My friend is taking me to her house, and her twins are going to build an 18-plus set I was gifted for me. Oh, nice. That's excellent. I might try helping. I would. That's pretty cool. Lil Hunter got some cute little Lego sets for their birthday. But it's just like Pokemon stuff. It's not one of like the great big sets.
that is too big of a life ring. So where is, what size do we need here, right? Because we need it to sit more or less like that around the soot sprite. So probably about there is good. Okay. And I don't need to be too worried about how it joins together because I'm cutting pieces out anyways. So, but you fit okay in there, right? Yeah, and I'll probably gain a little space as I blend two of them together, so that's totally cool. Alright, so now I'm going to get the red one, or red out. A very like fire engine red. It comes out a little bit more orangey on my camera. I have to stick with the 10 and under for myself. The higher the recommended age, the more difficulty I have, and I've learned that the hard way. You know, that's fair. That's fair. As you enjoy those sets, that's what's important. All right, there is a tennis racket coming out of the oven. Give me one minute. Yes, hello. It seems to be doing all right there. I'm just going to let it cool and try not to touch it at all as it cools. So hopefully uh, we have very few problems with it breaking. The set was gifted to me. I wouldn't have bought it for myself. It's the Wildflower bouquet. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, I can see how that one would require uh, some really precision dexterity. I myself am, I'm not a huge fan of Lego, like I'll enjoy sitting down and playing a little Lego with the kid or whatever um, as a family, but for the most part I'm not a real big Lego fan. Um, I mean, I appreciate Lego, but it's, it's just not something that I choose to do on my own kind of thing, but I'm, because I'm more into puzzles than I am into Lego. I'm actually a lot into puzzles. So. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably going to need to use a little liquid Sculpey to get the red and the white to stick together. The white is pretty soft and malleable, but the red isn't, and it's probably going to be a pain because they're not quite the same texture, but we'll make it work. Time for our break. Thank you for reminding me that. I put pictures in the chat on Discord. Excellent. I will pull that up when we come on back in. And uh, we're going to go and have our 11sies. We'll be back right back, friends. Everybody go and get yourself a drink. Look away from your screens. Have a stretch. Take your meds if you need them. It's time for a break. We'll be right back, friends. If I can find the right, you know, screen. There it is.
I'm sorry, Empress. I am back now. All right. Uh, what else did I miss? Okay. Put a picture in the stream. I'll get that in a second. Okay. If it didn't say Lego on it, I would never have guessed it was a Lego build. That will look quite lovely when it's done. Oh, nice. Yeah, of course I won't be long. Yes, do you have birthday plans? That would be fun. I'm going to invade Mommy Sloth's hutch for a vase, too. Aw, dinner date with only the hubby at a semi-fancy place. No kids, that is like the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm having all sorts of tech issues today. Hopefully this is running out and all my bad luck for my presentation later. Well, good luck on your presentation. Uh, let's get it all out of the way. Yes, and go smoothly. Okay, okay, so... Hold up, hold up. Let me go check this out in Discord. Oh, my nose. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, hold on. Do, 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 do. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wildflower bouquet. Oh, and it's literally each individual flower that you have to make. Like, it doesn't come with a vase kind of thing. But those are really pretty. That's really cool. I've never seen one like that before. Mr. Five is so sweet this morning. He asked why I didn't get B-Day birthday decorations like he does. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> That'll be like the, I don't know, you'd have to ask daddy. <laughs> I'm not building it. That's okay. We need a paint water. <laughs> a paint, put it in a paint water jar. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to essentially just cut each one of these into four pieces and put the pieces together. Right? And I'm going to do my best to take the pieces that don't have I need more finger cuts. Hubby came in clutch. Grown-ups got them when they were little. Now we pass them on to you. Oh, good job. Yeah. I say I'm too lazy, go ask daddy. Fair enough. That one's too big, I think. Let's use this smaller one. It. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit of liquid Sculpey for this to put the pieces together a little better. And again, thank you for the hydrate. I'm going to need to, I think, bake the ring so it doesn't break on me as I'm putting it together with that. So we'll come over here with these. And then we're going to put some liquid Sculpey on here. I'm going to reheat that up and make sure it hasn't cooled down too much. My friend was like, make sure you buy a vase and you like, and mom said, oh no, just go in my hutch. Oh, does she have like a lot of vases? I've got one or two. Never really needed a lot. We're not exactly a, a buy cut flowers kind of people. We get them every once in a while, but I'd much rather have a live plant. Hundred asked me for Valentine's Day. He's like, so if I was going to get you flowers, I'm like, don't get me flowers. Get me a plant. <laughs> <sighs> My 
my sister did that G4's third birthday. Oh, nice. Uh, she has a lot. That's how that how she got they collected. I don't know. <laughs> All right, my life raft. I really like how it looks. It looks great. All right, I'm going to go and bake this. I'm going to leave that one in slightly longer because I want the TLS to properly set. Cute. Cute. And we'll finish up our tennis racket, friend, while we're doing it. Yay, a lifesaver! You can just see some of the strings from the back of this. I'm just trying to gently get some of them off. Okay, let's... Very gently pick that up. Okay. Clean up a little liquid sculpey. Okay, all right. And let's give our soot sprite a tennis racket. I'm going to be really careful to try to only press on the racket, like on the handle, because I'm really afraid if I, I get the racket part that I'm going to end up uh, cracking those strings. That is not bad at all. Okay. I'm going to move you up here to safety. There we go. All right. You're averaging 10 so far. 10 per day so far. I'm not doing too badly at all, right? Because we got 11 the first day, 12 the first, second day, and then 7 the third day. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Uh, what do we want the third one we're working on to be, since we're waiting for the light craft to be baked before we uh, finish off for this guy? Okay. Cuttlefish, oh goodness. All right, how do I do a cuttlefish? Lodurus. Yes, I, I'm well aware that Lodurus is a cuttlefish. <laughs> um, maybe. Reference photo. I have reference. I know what a cuttlefish looks like. I have my own cuttlefish reference because I have Sydney, the Buddha's hand cuttlefish. <laughs> Everybody's saying hi. Hi, chat. Uh, yeah, we can re-roll this well, one, because I'm not... Excuse me, princess! There you go, babe. Um, is there different sports we can go with? I... I think we did add some sports ones to can the list. A? What? Can you do A? Uh, not today, no. I mean, I guess I could, because really it would just be an arrow on the forehead. It sounds like we're going to be picking from the sports, though. Because okay. we started randomly with a tennis racket. <laughs> oh, we don't have a hockey stick. Yeah, we don't have a hockey one on the list. We could do a hockey one. I could do a hockey stick and a puck. You do a goalie mask and then it would two for like Friday the 13th. It's possible. 
All right, we're going to do a hockey stick. No problem. We shall keep the fun going, Agent. Well, the fun is going to work. Aw, you're not the fun here. I love you. And you're the fun a lot of places, but not here. Don't give me that look. This isn't your space. <laughs> love you. Love you, too. It sounded a lot meaner than I meant it to be. <laughs> By Fawn Hunter. Hunter is fun. And we love Hunter. But it's not all about him all the time. Well, excuse Yeah, that's me. about right Great right sense. now. <laughs> that was appropriate. That was very appropriate. <laughs> the way he just turned and walked away, saw his feet in the cat cam. Ah, yes. <laughs> I forgot that was still there. It was still on. Okay, we can, uh, there we go. All right. Okay, so we're doing a hockey stick, are we? Let's get some eyes. Eyes on some sit sprites. And a hockey stick. Part of me really wants to try to put pride tape on this hockey stick, but I don't think I can do it at that scale. <laughs> oh, goodness. I do love Hunter Sass, even if it annoys the hell out of me. He is a very sassy person. He Do you guys not think that Hunter and Kim would get along like famously? <laughs> like in real life. They would so feed off of each other. They absolutely would, yeah. <laughs> it would be a ping pong match. Can you tell why I love Kim so much? Because she has a lot of very fun personality traits that my husband also has. <laughs> and he is my favorite person, so... It's no surprises I love Kim. Um, Hockey stick, right. There's like a light, like a tan. I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit of brown into this just to, um, yeah, I think that'll be fine. What I can do, though, is put literally a tiny bit of brown in it so it looks a little like a wood grain as I don't fully blend it together. I would buy tickets to that show. <laughs>
All right. So here's the beginning of our hockey stick. I'm going to need black because it's, I think I'm just going to use black to tape it up because that makes sense on a hockey stick, I think. I'm going to pull up a picture of a hockey stick just so I get like the angle right of it. like that and I can work with this okay all right that's a life ring coming out of the oven give me one second I'm gonna again I'm gonna leave it sit to cool so that hopefully the ooh it shifted a little. It shifted in there and you can actually see like where it split a little, which is unfortunate, like here and here. So I'm gonna have to do make sure that that's the part behind the city. So that way, um oh no. Oh no. There we go. All right, we're okay. We're okay. Um, I knocked it with the um, oven mitt. I see a pretzel stick. Oh, it does look a little like a pretzel stick. Flatten at the eight touchy part. Yeah, yeah, I haven't gotten that far yet. And the part that hits the puck. Ooh, maybe add a puck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was definitely thinking of putting like a little puck on in the front there. Um, I just hadn't gotten all the way through flattening this part because I had to get stuff out of the oven. And I'm going to trim the edges of the stick part a little bit. That seems about right. Okay. This is clearly bigger than it needed to be, but I can fix that up, I think. I'll round out the toe of uh, the stick a sec in a second. Cute. Cute. I needs to redeem field hockey. Like as in, um, what do we call field hockey over here? Um, lacrosse? I think that's what we call field hockey here. Like the weird meshy net things. Oh, thank you for flicking a bit at me, Empress. Cut down the edges of the stick up here a little. Just to help get the shape a little better. Have it be a little bit more precise. Seems pretty good so far. Okay, and then we're going to put a little tape up on the handle and on the, is it called the blade? I want to say it's the blade of the hockey stick. What is this called? Parts of a hockey stick. That's what I'm going to search right now.
Yes, the blade. Blade, toe, heel, shaft. Lie angle. All right, there we go. Learning today, things in good luck. <laughs> good luck. much like the tape on that we're gonna do a little bit of a wrap at a time we don't need as much up at the top I'm gonna end up needing a little bit more but that's fine I kind of love that we've been doing theme days so far. <laughs> I guess our last stream wasn't so much of a theme day, but like the first day we had a little bit of a cheeky theme and then we had the food theme. I guess, I don't know what your last, last stream was. It was kind of weird and random, but it worked. And now we're at Sports Go Sports. Luck and more luck of the best kind. The shaft. Yep, it's totally the shaft. Okay, there we go. So there's just a little grip tape up there. <laughs> piece of this going. Nipple, what are you doing cheating so much? <laughs> oh, I did not mean to do that twice. There was the delay. Oh, I remembered to set up um, buttons. I remembered to set up like raid call buttons. So I'm not scrambling to find my own raid calls. Uh, <laughs> Is in the way. <laughs> right. 
I should have thought ahead and done the tape a different color because the a puck would not stand out now on top of the hockey stick. But I don't really think I need it. I think this is quite noticeably a hockey stick <laughs> and does not really require additional visual shorthand. One more piece of tape and then this one I think will be done. Not need to blow out my mic with a sneeze. Headphone warning, everyone. Kiki's gonna sneeze. All right, teeny tiny hockey stick. And I think that this is probably good enough that I can, um, work with it on its own. I think it'll be fine. I don't think I need to par make this one. Uh, liquid Sculpey, there you are. worked out pretty well all on its own. It droops down a tiny, tiny bit, but not enough that I'm worried about it. All right, so let's now try to do our life ring. Put our city into his life ring. Make him slightly smaller to fit. Uh, those are the worst spots. Yeah, that's where we're going to put the liquid Sculpey. It's up here to fix it and to secure it a little better too. All right. All right, so there is our city and a life ring, our hockey stick, and our tennis racket. All right, I need one second. All right. Okay. All right. I don't need to keep up the pictures of the parts of a hockey stick anymore. All right. We are good. Uh, did we also delete hockey stick and tennis racket? I think we deleted tennis racket because that one's been done for a bit of stream so far. So. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. All right. What shall we work on next? What other sport things are on the list? I'll just cherry pick the sports ones off the list today and keep that theme going. American football. Okay, I can do American football. Hand egg. I 
I have a baseball bat. We could add an actual baseball onto the list. We could do a baseball. A little white ball with the stitching. That seems like it could be pretty easy to put together. I pulled it earlier, but you didn't see it if you did the hockey stick. Uh, I knew it was in the list. Like, I saw it come up, but it was I wasn't sure we were going to necessarily jump right back into that one next. But that's totally cool. I like it. We shall. I like not dilly dallying and having having to figure out which sit spread we're doing. So American football sounds fabulous. Baseball, yeah. Um, American football. I need okay. There's my brown, nice brown leather football look. This one should actually be pretty easy because it's really just this and some stitches. Marshmallow, you were looking at me and you totally missed whatever just ran by the window. All right. Karate. Ooh. Yeah, we can put it in like a karate you know, outfit with like a belt. I like it. I like it. I am going to flatten the back of this a little bit just because it'll be easier to get it to affix to a sit sprite that way. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty football shaped. Then we'll put some stitches on there. A sooty in a canoe. Ooh, yeah, we could do that. That one to the list. We might have had in a canoe on the list, did we? I don't even remember. I'm going to double check now. Oh, uh, that's probably it. Yeah, it still comes up with the same only one the one time, so it's got to be just there on there the once. Okay, it's cool. We've got a canoe. Or as a canoe, or on a canoe as an option for the future. Trying to at least make sure that the um, stitches are the same, more or less length. They had quite a bit of difference on some of them. Close enough. All right, there we go. American football. Love it when they come together quickly. Okay. Laces, actually. Sorry, you're right. Laces of a football. All right. Sports go sports. Okay. What 
other sports ones are on the list. I'm just going to look at my list. Uh, deleted, uh, spring roll. We don't think we did spring roll. Oh, do we, you trying to delete the different one and got that one? That's okay. We can always add such, uh, spring roll back in. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, okay. Um, American football. What else do we have? Uh, well, there's in a tennis, a, a basketball, a bowling ball. Oh, we have as a bowling ball, right? We had two there. So let's start with with a basketball, and we'll move on to ah yes, boxing gloves. Yes, we'll go with the. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, basketball. We might end up doing in a tennis shoot too today. We'll see how far we get. No, 90 is a deviled egg, like the food. 91 is a deviled egg, where it's an egg with horns and a tail. Kim's idea. <laughs> we need all the ideas we can get with the sheer amount of sooties we have to make sometimes. <laughs> Glad I said might, right? Yeah. Well, it's also like 69 and 70 look like they're, they may be duplicates because it's with a bowling ball and as a bowling ball right on top of each other, so... All right, there is our next Soot Sprite friend. This eye is a tad too big. So what is the cheat? 27 says dressed as the cheat. The cheat is the thing that's dancing in the strong bad um, rave clip. That is the cheat. Basketball, right. It's a pretty good basketball orange. And then I need a picture of a basketball to make sure I get like the black line right. Okay, all right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh no! Oh no, I bumped his eye! Where's my ISO?
All right, pretty good. All right. Ooh, a spy guy head. So the question is, is how do I do that and keep it soot sprite shape? Like I could do the black one, so it's still black. That's not a problem because I mean, spy versus spy has them black and white, and I could do the white hat. Ooh, I could do that. I could do it mostly circle. Um, and maybe just give it like the pointier nose, so it kind of looks like a, almost a pizza slice, and like do the white hat with sunglasses and do spy versus spy that way just by doing the black one. Although I am going to change that to the spy versus spy head, um, or white spy versus, or black spy versus spy, because I know I will forget what the reference is. So hold on. There we go. That I am confident I will remember what I meant by it. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's roll it up teeny tiny. As long as you knew what I have. I knew what you meant when you showed me the example. I mean, I clearly remember it. But we'd, yeah, we'd have to do the black spy versus spy so it's still soot sprite. Basketball. Teeny tiny basketball. I did not make that long enough. Okay, hold on. I think I'm going to need more of this rolled out than I realized I would. Oh, yeah. Way more than I realized I would. Okay, hold on. come from. Get out of my way, wait. And then, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right.
Come on, stick enough so that there I can cut you off. My goodness. You are just not behaving. All right, there is one teeny tiny basketball. Mines are a little bit more 3D than I would generally like, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It'd be even harder if I was trying to actually indenting it into there, so. That's how it goes. All right, oh no. Oh no. You're all right. All right, so there is a sit sprite with a basketball. All right. Oh, the wind isn't too bad. I'll be able to go outside soon. I have to enjoy it while I can before the pine star starts bad. Oh, pine, that's yours. Uh, cedar pollen is the one that gets me going. Like the, yeah. That one's brutal on me. All right, so if we did a basketball, oh, we can do a... It says gold club. I think it was supposed to be golf club. We can do a golf club and a golf ball. Excellent. Alrighty. I'm trying to keep up numbers. I get mixed up a lot. Not diagnosed, but deaf, mild dyslexia with numbers. Hey, no worries. No worries. We're doing great. I'm kind of going with it too, so it's no problem at all. Hello, Sun Cup. Welcome in. We we decided to theme today with sports go sports. <laughs> And one in a life raft or a life ring. But I guess that's kind of like swimming themed, I guess. All right. But right now we're going to do one with a golf club. Maybe one with a golf ball. I think I can do like a separate one with a golf ball because like I could do like a little dimpled golf ball. Not 
knocked that presentation out of the park. I am so glad to hear it. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what Empress needs? Huzzah! Exactly. Thank you for getting to it before me. You got to it faster than I could get to my soundboard buttons. <laughs> Good job. Love the life ring. <laughs> He's pretty cute. I am I am definitely a fan of the life ring. They're all pretty good today. We're going to do the golf club next. And right to another meeting. Well, that is unfortunate, but I'm glad your meeting, or I'm glad your presentation went well. Also, we've got an ad rolling just about now because I totally missed the countdown. Okay, but there is one with an obnoxious tight swim cap to show us how fluffy the sooties usually are. That is so brilliant. We'll do that after we're done the golf club. I love it. Maybe I can even put a really tight speedo on it. So you get, like, the cap with the and the speedo with the <laughs> All right, I need silver for a golf club. <laughs> I'm glad I have amused you, Sun Cup. Also, I seem to have a little lag today. My apologies for that. I'm going to put the chat up just to see how laggy we are. Maybe it's just this over here that's laggy. Alright, seems okay. Good stuff. I'm not supposed to laugh this loudly, this suddenly here. There are people with sensitive ears. Oh no! You know it's a good time when it makes somebody laugh out loud in the real world? It happened to me the other day, and I can't even remember what it was. What was it? And I remember I just laughed ridiculously loudly, and I'm like, oh, God. What even was it? I think it must have been something in Struble's stream, because Struble's is the only stream that I've really had a chance to catch lately. I don't remember what it was either. Whoops. Another roast beef with provolone. Okay. All right. I'm going to try and not make this one too oversized. Like I have with some of the others. My hockey stick is drooping. Oh, well. It's going to droop. Drooper's gonna droop. I do that all the time at the office and my mom just shakes her head. <laughs> oh well, what you can do about it, right? That's pretty good. I want to put a little like, detailing on the front of this golf club, though, if I can. A little detail. 
can't even really see it. Maybe I can um, do a black tint on the inside so it like stands out almost as if it's like um, powder coat painted on the inside with like a, oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like, um, oh yeah, yeah, I knew you worked at the same place. Um, enamel, that's the word I'm thinking of. All right, we need to roll out a little bit more black tape for the grip up top. Grippy tape. Grippy tape. this a little thinner than I meant to, but that's okay. It'll still work for grippy tape. Might even work better. It'll just be a little bit more delicate to work with. I feel like I need a little bit more up top. I feel like it's a uh, too low down of a grip tape. Also, I feel like golf clubs have more grip tape on them than other sports apparatus, like go like hockey sticks. Here's a question. How do I make a rugby ball look different than a football? I mean, because they're very similar shaped. Rugby balls are usually like two-toned, right? Because we could do a rugby ball as well. There we go. Got lots of grippy tape. Gridiron NFL ball is brown with white stripes, strips. Yeah, and the ends are pointed. Yeah. So, the, yeah, because that's, we've got our American football up here. And, like, I think our, like, a rugby ball is, like, egg, like, rounded, but it's got, like, the two, uh, normally white, larger, and both ends are rounded. Yeah. I've seen mostly colored rubbly balls. Yeah, like the, like the Harlequin two-tone look, right? Like it's like one section and it's usually lengthwise, right? Like in like four sections or whatever overall. I was very confused by that question until I realized what kind of football you meant. Yeah, I try and differentiate between like, uh, like American football and uh, European football. <laughs> I don't like calling it soccer either. I'd rather call it European football. I mean, because I live in North America, I have to differentiate with European football, but we get the point. I think the golf club might need... I think the golf club's going to warp too if I'm not careful. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to take both the golf club and the hockey stick, and I'm going to bake them right now. 
so that way they're both firm and I'll put them on. Golf club left a little bit, or the hockey stick left a little bit behind, but that's fine. It'll get covered up once we put it back on, so. Because the hockey stick was getting floppier than I want it to as well, so. Okay. So, golf club, hockey stick. We'll do golf ball, which will be quick and easy. For me, as an American, it's football and soccer. Sorry, not so You know what? And that's what you're used to. And I totally get it, right? Do a quick Google for rugby ball, and you'll see many example fix. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I knew I would, but um, rugby ball. Okay, fair enough. I guess they really are. There's color on them, but they're not really like the whole Harlequin two-tone thing that I was thinking of. How do I... Why do they all come up saying Gilbert? Is that, like, like the predominant, like, rugby brand of football? Fuck off, Lock. Fuck off. Floppy stick. Yeah, it's a floppy stick. I'm not sure that fills for that now. For me, as a European, it's football and whatever nonsense American do, amazingly using hands. Yeah, fair enough. Gilbert is the brand. Okay. Most official rugby balls are made by Gilbert. Okay. I could probably make that work. Oh, I forgot to like the two little white lines on the football. Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> Can you tear, can't tell I'm not a big fan of football? Or <laughs> All right, well, I will endeavor to make a rugby ball at <laughs> we'll see how it works out. I don't know if I can print Gilbert that small, but I can try. Okay. All right. Was it already quarter after twelve? Today is like flown by. For me as an Australian, it's football, regardless of its actual football, hand egg ball, Gaelic football, Aussie rules made when drunk so close enough is good enough for a point, or that weird Italian game where they both throw a large football into the goals at the end, but it's secondary to beating the ever-loving beje bejeebus out of each other. That sounds like uh, rugby right there, the ever-loving bejeebus out of each other. Like, to me, football is just tame rugby. <laughs> That's far, I know, clearly the rules are different, but to me that, that seems like Americans went, hey, that rugby sport is cool. Too hard on us, though. Let's steal somebody else's name and change the rules and make a whole new game out of it. That's my theory on, on rugby or on football. It's like running a fight, but also has a ball. Yeah.
Yeah, I have no interest in playing rugby, like, ever. I remember my, my high school had a rugby team, and I don't even know how they let high school girls play rugby. It's also, it's called Calico Storico. Rugby is called Calico Storico? Like, is that its proper European name or something? Where's rugby from? Is rugby European? I thought rugby was European. Or is it British? I know a lot of people like rugby, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's... No, the Italian murder ball game. Okay, so rugby is Italian. I mean, as American, my ancestors stole basically everything, so why not football too? Yeah, fair enough, right? Fair enough. Fair enough. My Canadian ancestors weren't much better. Wait. Okay, so you're a golf ball. Let's make you a golf ball. I make cute dimply golf ball, right? Golf ball. We'll show you a close up after I get it affixed. Because I have to be very, very gentle with this one because the weight is so soft. Love being all like cheaty McCheaterson and being like, yeah, look, look, I did a sooty. It's a, it's a golf ball, but it's a sooty. <laughs> it counts. <laughs> it counts. Okay. Rugby is weird. They hug you with your balls. Oh, sorry. Were lines smooshed together in my brain, and <laughs> and the subject is now closed. Yes, fair enough. Rugby is weird. They hug each other. But yet it's so violent. Yes, hear that, folks? Be gentle with your balls. Absolutely. Looking up the original of rugby according to the sports lore, in 1823, William Webb Ellis, a pupil at rugby school, defied the conventions of the day, the ball that may only be kicked forward, to pick up the ball and run with it in a game, thus creating the distinct handling of the rugby football. The Italian one is something else. Okay. I don't know about the Italian one. Okay, all right. So this is the soot sprite that we're making with the rugby ball. Wait, wasn't there something else that we needed to do after the golf club and golf ball? Before we got to rugby, I feel like there was something else we were going to do. Oh, right, in the Speedo and the swim cap. Right, we're going to do that one, and then we'll do the rugby ball. They've been banned like two of the most deadly types of attack. And since it was the first one done by some rugby school in England, the game that came from it was dubbed rugby. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so I'm going to still start with it the way I usually do, um, just so that part is done, and then I'll, like, reduce down the other parts. I don't think we ever had golf ball on the list, so you shouldn't need to worry about that one.
All right. So, I really feel like it should be a bright red Speedo and swim cap. Like, it just feels right to me. I don't even know. Y'all have to go through on your non-stream days and see. <laughs> Fair enough. Um... I feel like our Speedo would come in, like, down here, and also, like, here. gonna build the littlest speedo <laughs> for us it's right no no it's fine whatever we all have a little snark in us sometimes Okay, all right. I like I like the little speedo so far. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> all right. And then we need our little speedo cap. Little swim cap. need to do here is like cut out a little bit of head <sighs> oh, sorry that hit me too fast poor guy doesn't even get he will get eyes I just haven't got that far yet hold on I gotta get stuff out of the oven There's our hockey stick and golf club.
of how to make the fuzz look really fuzzy sticking out. This is fantastic. I'm glad. I'm glad it meets your expectations. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just asked. You asked me about the pine pollen. Yeah, that's one of my biggest triggers among several others. Yeah, pollen is awful. I always have a tough time in the spring. One of... This sounds weird, and I'm sorry, it's going to sound weird no matter how you say it, but one of the best things I learned from COVID is that masks are great during allergy season. I wear one around the house even on my very, um, very bad allergy days, and it helps just filter out the pollen enough that I can not, I, I can still breathe without, you know, being super congested and sneezy, so... Okay. Yeah, I discovered lots of extra uses for masks that I did not know existed pre-COVID. <laughs> I did that last season and I could still go outside. Yeah, absolutely. Because, like, mine will get so bad that even in the house it's awful. I mean, usually at that time of year I've got my windows open and that's how it's coming in. But, yeah, it's brutal. Okay, I what's the little Speedo logo look like? I think maybe I can draw that on the Speedo and um, you'll be able and like, have it... Yeah, 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 because it's just like the little almost Nike check mark button in opposite direction. Okay, where's my white paint? can't do it quite small enough with this paintbrush. Maybe if I... No, this paintbrush I think is a little too old and a little too rough for me to get it at that, quite that level of detail. Maybe? Maybe? Okay. Maybe I'm good. Okay. Like a backwards seven. There we go. Good enough that you can tell that that's what it's supposed to be. There are only 98 currently on the list because we already deleted one. <laughs> Alright. Okay. And now, so yes, now we need eyes on our soot sprite. I think we did it as a swim cap. It's 98. Ooh, I'm going to change these. I have the list up, so I can see what it is off the top of my head. That's all. All right. I'm going to need to get more of these very soon. All right. No worries. Don't worry about it, Deb. I'm gonna get ready for class. Laters! No problem! Aw, oh, boss Drupal! Enjoy your very long, I hope it's not totally boring class. I hope your four hour class is not your marketing class, because I know that it is not your most enthused about class. <laughs> I feel like his eyes are bulging out a little bit of his, like, he's just all squeeze toyed. So 
Now there is our, oh, uh, got a little less focused. There is our soot sprite in a Speedo and swim cap. <laughs> I'm very amused by that. That is absolutely excellent. Okay. I love how we just randomly get brilliant ideas. Like that one was pretty inspired. I'm not going to lie. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven so far. Not bad. What was the next one we were going to do after this? Uh, rugby. Right. Here is the beginning of our rugby ball. I'm going to flatten it so it's easier to work with. Right, and it's rounded, but still, like, egg-shaped. rounded points and not pointy points, right? Okay. And where did that paintbrush go that I was working with? There we are. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to need paint. I've got black paint. I want to do like a little bit of a design on it um, in another color because all of the footballs seem to have a color on it or all of the rugby balls seem to have a color on it and it's usually either red or green or blue. Um, I guess it really all depends on the team. Um, Rugby Canada's are black and red, so let's do red. That seems right. Didn't mean the line to be that thick, but it came out pretty thick down below, so I have to fix it. Um, I actually need to fix that altogether, because that is totally weird down here. You're not going to be able to see me fix this, and I'm sorry. section is never going to be totally white again, but that's okay. It's below. We're not really going to notice it. Now I need to figure out how to write Gilbert this small. Okay. I think I'm going to have to. I don't think I can use a brush for this. I don't have a brush fine enough, I don't think. I might have to. With meetings for the day! Huzzah!
Huzzah! Huzzah! Huzzah! Huzzah! Lots of echoing! Because I've got to it first before me again. <laughs> also, that calls for more, more celebrations. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Okay, I think I can work with this. All right. This is not working. I'm going to keep trying with this brush. I just have to keep my brushes, my strokes really light and keep my brush pretty moist. I need to actually get a little bit, a cup of water because the water will help keep my uh, bristles together. All right. A B-Day donut for lunch. Ooh, yummy. All right, there is our very tiny, tiny text. That hard to read, but harder to type or harder to paint. Gilbert. <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, Rugby ball. Okay. It's really, really hard to paint letters at that size. I've done them that size before because they're roughly the same size that I've done on like my tortoises. Cute. Cute. Well done. Thank you. All right, there is our rugby ball. 
Okay. Um, what do we have to do next? We've got not a whole lot of time. Oh, I need to put the golf club and the uh, hockey stick back on. Do, 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 do. We got one last. Does Kiki, does the other side of the ball read Godfrey? Nope, it certainly does not. That I could not fit on here for shortsies. All right, now our hockey sick will not droop. There we go. And our golf club. Oh, we don't have a sooty with a golf club. I used to get that guy instead. Okay, so now we need to build one for our golf club. And then we might have time for one more if it's simple. I can't even <laughs> pull out because it's too brilliant, right? I'm not doing a Gilbert Gottfried impression for a second. I was thinking of it. Honestly, it took me a second for that to get together. I just assumed Gottfried was another rugby uh, term because I, uh, in my brain, didn't put the two together. I get it now, what we're saying here. Um, and no, I'm not doing that impression. I really, really hate Gilbert Gottfried's voice in most things. The only thing I don't totally hate Gilbert Gottfried in is Aladdin, because, I mean, he's appropriately voiced for Iago. Anything else? No thanks. I mean, that's his whole shtick, is he's got an annoying voice, but, you know. <laughs> you didn't have to explain, it just took me a minute to get there. Which, you know, is not uncommon for Kiki, like, at all. At all, at all. <laughs> Alright, let's put eyes on our friend here. question is, does he throw his voice like that, or does he actually sound like that? I think there's, it's a little bit of both. I think there's a natural high-pitchedness to his voice that he exaggerates for filming. This guy, our, our golfer, is not looking anywhere near his club, which does not seem appropriate, but hey, what you can do? Nobody said he was the best golfer out there. All right, we have a golfer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, we did not too bad at all today. We're still going to get ten done. What's our last one? Wow, I was robbed. <laughs> That's unfortunate. All right, we got one left. What are we doing? He's praying to the golf gods to have a good game. He might be. See, the golf ball, he's looking down at the golf ball. The golf club guy's looking up, so. He's had a few golf cart beverages! <laughs> yeah, I don't imagine they would answer.
Sports go sports. One last sports go sports for the day. Boxing gloves. All right, we can do that. I've got red out. And boxing gloves are pretty simple because we did the mittens the other day and they're going to be pretty similar to that. All right. Yep. <laughs> it's a Speedo and a swim cap. And, and it's like because it's so poofy, it's showing that it's like just sucks in the, the floof of, of them. The sewn cups idea. It's brilliant. <laughs> Gotta have some fun with it. I very much love that we've been doing the theme things lately. Yes, yes. Fun must be had. We had fun getting all the subs, so we have to have fun making the soot sprites. I go, I'm going in on Friday, so I'm not... No, we haven't had any new subs added today. So our count is still... You actually have a spreadsheet. I adore you. <laughs> no, we have not had any added yet. This, this one with boxing gloves can also kind of double as our strong bad city. Those too big? Those are a little too big. Of course I do. <laughs> I, should, I should have known. I should have assumed. I knew you kept track of stuff. I didn't know you had a, like a whole spreadsheet going. here for like the wrist part right and then I'll add like the thumb part in which is more of like a, a, a line than it is going to actually be a piece of clay added I think Alright, so there's the base part of our boxing gloves. And then, really it's more like a... Right? Like that, than an actual separation of clay. Those feel like boxing gloves. They also kind of feel like crab hands. But, hey, what you can do, right? 
Um, and then I think, can we, I, maybe I'll just, yeah? Does this look like boxing gloves? Do I need much more to it? I think that, I feel like this worked, right? Which way do they go? How do I get my handedness right for this? Yeah, just have a little hole in it. Yeah. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, it's actually a sticky note, but it's totally set up like a spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, yes, the local Catholic church does a fish fry on Fridays during uh, the Lent season, and I'm literally and I'm literally going to work for food. Ooh, nice. I have an actual computer. If I had an actual computer instead of two mobile devices, I absolutely would have this on a spreadsheet. <laughs> you might have to make a little hole in it. Yeah, good. Excellent. All right. Um, hold on. So it's more like, right? Yeah, it's like with the thumbs that way. Okay, good stuff. And I kind of feel like they should be out more, like holding up the gloves rather than like in front of the face. Do we like this idea? I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get them to stay there, but. All right, there we go. In boxing gloves. We get one plate in sheer. It is so much food. Oh, I can imagine. Oh, excellent. All right, that's, that's, that's 10, right? Can I count? Is that 10? Yeah, that's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. We did 10 today. We're still averaging 10 a stream. <laughs> So that means we have 15 left to do after this. All right. Hold on. Where's my little, where's the pen? Twenty-five minus ten. We have 15 to go. All right. Okay. Let's take a second to tidy up. Oh. just threw clay. Like, I picked this up and it, like, flung. And it's, like, underneath things, so I'm not even sure I can get it right now. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Hello. Paints. Liquid Sculpey. Tissue, liquid sculpey out of Marshmallow's way so we don't get more Yay! stuck on our tail. Yay! Oh, goodness, we're going to dad joke right at the end. I love it. Okay. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh, no, I am off key today. Not like I'm ever really in key, but I am especially off key today. All right. joke shall we all right we're gonna dad joke we're gonna dad joke we're gonna dad joke all right do what I want you can't stop me all right friends here's our dad joke 
What's the smelliest door you could possibly open? The odor. Yep. Also, this looks really weird to me. Um, <laughs> it helps if I get it in the... Yeah. Oh. Glare. See, odor. That's how it looks weird to me in that spelling, because there should be a U in there, because I'm Canadian. What's the la What do you call a fish with two legs? A toonie fish. Toonie fish. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What did the drumming father call his twins? And a one. And a two. <laughs> See? Oh, there we go. And a one. And a two. I like it. That one I like. That is definitely a joke Locke would make. <laughs> that is yeah, definitely, definitely a joke Locke would make right there. Okay. There it is. All right. We got Badum Tisses. Okay, friends. We need to go find somebody to bring our love to. Who's around? Fuck off, Lock. Fuck off. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not what I meant to do. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see if there's somebody new. There's a couple of people that I could raid. I'm just going to take a quick look and see if there's anybody new hanging out and about before we raid off. This time of day, it's mostly digital artists, so let's see if there's any physical medium artists hanging out and about. in the physical medium. Let's check out Makers and Crafters real quick. Do, 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 do. Bang! There is so much going on in various makers and crafters that I can't even decide. Hmm.
I found somebody who looks interesting. Because she's painting Pokemon. So, let's go meet somebody new today. Alright, we are... Oh, we've had raid calls drops, aren't you? Satch is on, but we um, went to see Satch not that long ago. We also went to see Grays not that long ago. There's not a whole lot of people around right now who are... Uh, sorry. Nope, that was not what I meant to do. There we go. Um, so there's a couple. So we've got raid calls. We're good. We are going to go meet a new friend. We're going to meet... Lena Axios, who is right now painting a ghastly. Or is that? Yeah, that's a ghastly. And uh, it looks really cute. So I'm going to say that that sounds fun. They also have the tag of sarcastic. So you know it's going to be a good time. <laughs> All right, friends, we're going to go and show some love to our... We're going to go make a new friend. And we're going to have a good time. And we'll see you guys all on Friday. And we're going to make at least another 10 Soot Sprites. And I look forward to seeing you all. And I love you all. Take care, everybody. Empress, have a wonderful birthday. And I'll see all of you guys all very, very soon. Take care, friends. Bye-bye. Welcome.